Today we're going to talk about travel tips you need to know when you get to the airport. I'm Dr. Carrie Lam and this is Dr. Michael Lam, adrenal fatigue expert. So we are on vacation together, it's a family trip um, and people with adrenal fatigue have to really keep in mind what to do at the airport. So what tips do you have for them? Uh, what I found um, is that a, a free and very important request that you can make if you have adrenal fatigue is to ask for what we call meet and assist or MNA. This is a service that uh, the air, um, what do you call it, the airplane companies uh, provide uh, free. Oh. And this actually is a very important request that you make. So make that request well ahead of time. So when you get to the airport, of course, you, before you get to the counter, you try to do curbside uh, check-in so you don't have to lug the luggages into the counter. Mm -hmm. Number two, you want to be able to, if you have to lug it to the counter, you have to have your luggages on wheels, and most people are nowadays. You want to have luggages that is big enough so you can sit on it on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. uh, the most important uh, is to have a designated uh, travel companion uh, whose job is to be well organized to take care of you each step along the way. I'm fortunate because my family takes care of me, uh, uh, and, but I'm fine now, but even before when I had the adrenal uh, fatigue myself, my wife was with me, so take care of every step. So from the counter on, you request an M&A. Uh, you make sure that the seat uh, assignment is such that you are uh, uh, near the aisle if you go to the bathroom frequently, uh, or if you're on the window for more privacy. Uh, make sure, for example, that the shades are down so you don't get exposure from the sunlight. You see what I'm saying? Mm. If you are near a kid, for example, that uh, tend to have uh, sound that you may not desire, you can always ask uh, for seat transfer. So, you know, th th there are many things you can do on that level. Stay very well hydrated uh, when you get on the plane. But even before then, you know, as the, the seat assignment, uh, the, the on the after you check in, uh, on the way uh, to the uh, gate, uh, do not stop to shop. Find a place around the gate that's quiet. You do some adrenal breathing exercise, listen to some music or whatever it takes, uh, you like to do to relax. Go to the bathroom frequently and immediately uh, before your uh, boarding. And you can ask for pre-boarding so that you can be ahead of the line. So the whole point is to have all the things assigned to your travel companion who's in charge of you. Make sure that you have a very peaceful walk if it's long, then as I said, the travel and meet and assist can help you. When you get there, uh, you are there well ahead of time, excuse me, <coughs> to prepare and rest. Uh -huh. hmm. That sounds really nice, actually. <laughs> I want to meet and assist. <laughs> but um, we would like to know where you're going on vacation or where you would like to go um, or how your traveling has been. So any other tips for them? Well, uh, after the check-in uh, and after you settle down on, on the gate and uh, once you get inside uh, the, the plane, nowadays the, the plane also have a more what, what we call natural lighting, a light blue light rather than kind of yellowish light, you see what I'm saying? Mm. And so that is a very peaceful type of lighting that you can uh, uh, surround yourself. Uh, do a lot of adrenal breathing exercise, always have a, a, a glass of water. Uh, next to you. Stay well hydrated because the air on the airplane is very dry. Mm -hmm. And not only that, I, I when I was uh, weaker, I would always wear a mask, you know, for my own protection. It's not that I have something to pass to people. I just don't want to get infected. And you don't know what is coming through the air because it is recirculating all yeah, the time. Definitely. So that is very, very important. Uh, for some people uh, uh, that cannot sit uh, for a long time, stand up and sit back down. Uh, release your shoes, for example. Uh, get pillows for your neck. Uh, you know, make sure you are warm because you can catch a cold and not even know it. Yeah. And then, if you are easily disrupted, you know, I used to tell the air stewardess not to disrupt me, even on long distance haul. Let me sleep. Mm -hmm. You know, when I finish, when I'm ready to eat, then I will call you. Mm -hmm. And you know, so there's many, many things that you know. In my book, I actually outlined the many tips on travel mm -hmm. in order to make your life easier. And what I think is key is those eye masks and earplugs because you never know who you're going to sit next to. Right? right. Well, and nowadays it's great because it's noise reduction. So, you know, it's just so peaceful if you do it right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can always ask the air steward this for those things if you've never, if you didn't even bring them. So. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. so, Correct. Correct. So this is air travels and what to do on a plane um, when you have adrenal fatigue. So thank you for watching with us today.